baseball is back from Fort Myers, Florida. 2020 starts for the Red Sox with the annual exhibition matchup against a local collegiate opponent as the Red Sox meet the Northeastern Husky. And here is the starting lineup for Northeastern. He loads it up with the seniors as far as position players go. There's Ian Fair. He's the preseason conference player of the year selection. There are eight Massachusetts natives and one New Hampshire native. And there is McGrath, 25-year-old from Australia. Spent the bulk of last season in double-A. Those are his combined numbers with triple-A factored in as well. But he was dynamite in double-A and earned a promotion to triple-A. 3-2. And a leadoff walk for Northeastern. Tony Amante, maybe? You're spot on. Peterson, a hockey player as well. McGrath got him picked off. Nick Longy tosses to CJ Chatham and Marco Hernandez and company, and they apply the tag. Pretty decent rundown right there. That's the kind of things that you work on a lot in spring training. But he says, I don't really want to tell you who they are right now. You'll, you know, we'll all figure it out when we see who gets those starts. When we were talking, uh, with Glavin about that, he said sometimes he'd rather see their stud players because they're not all that interested in playing against Northeastern. <laughs> and he's been climbing up the system. 2-1. On the ground to third. Chad De La Guerra with a misplay. Jeter downs his throw, is not in time. Not going to be an easy fly ball opportunities out there. Strike three called. Good bounce back effort from Daniel McGrath to leave a pair in the first. Marco Hernandez, Jaron Duran, and Jeter Downs at the top. And we told you about Connor Wong, who has shown some power throughout his time in the Dodgers minor league system. A freshman from Massachusetts who gets the ball and has a low 90s fastball with at times a good slider as well. You know, I think a lot of guys, well, he is, Brian Johnson basically did the same thing. These guys know the organization. On the ground to second for Holzwasser to retire Marco. Duran drafted a couple of years ago in the seventh round out of Long Beach State and had quite the buzz surrounding him in the first half of last season. Dupree comes on, slides, and he makes the catch. He talked about the speed right there, and he showed it. A lot of home runs early in his career. Chops this one toward third, and it takes a tough hop on Ian Fair. And Downs reaches. So now it's Rusne Castillo with two down in the first. And he rolls one back off the glove of Schlittler, who recovers to end the inning. So some miscues on each side, but we are through one and scoreless for Fort Myers. In our first look at Austin Bryce, the right-hander who was acquired from the Marlins in the middle of January. Then you see a guy coming from third base. And he paints the corner against DiLoretto. Ron Renicky talked about this morning. Lined over De La Guerra's outstretched glove and in the left. Big turn for Costello. Andrioli's throw, not in time. Aggressive base running from Jeff Costello. Bryce Steeles, got him. So a couple of punch outs for Austin Bryce. And now the number nine man for Northeastern, the shortstop Spencer Smith, with Costello on the move, the throw on the money from Connor Wong. Very aggressive Northeastern base running here in the top of the second. We go to the home half right after this. Get a look at Thomas Balboni, who's from Naples, about 40 minutes south of us. And he trots out there following the starter, Cam Schlittler. He's gone. Brock Holt was as close as you could find to a guy who was going to shake things up a little bit in the dugout. Long strikes out. There's two away. And you're talking about the energy from Verdugo. He just Verdugo. has this presence about him. He told me that it's just unbelievable when you finally get to meet your mentor. And he said it was the greatest moment of his life. Wow. That is high praise. <laughs> yes, it is. And he said it's just un going again. And, and I think Verdugo is going to be exactly that. De La Guerra in the air toward left. Kyle Peterson ends the inning. So Andrioli singled, left at first, and we're through two in Fort Myers. As you get a look at Robinson Lair, 
the right-hander who takes over and the third Red Sox pitcher today. Mike Lavin says he is plus plus defensively in the scouting parlance. And a strikeout for Lair. So five strikeouts the first time through the lineup. <laughs> <laughs> this one hit on one hard hop past Jeter Downs and into left. So Holzwasser did not strike out, and instead it's a one-out single here in the third. So one on, two out here in the top of the third, and it's Ian Fair. Rolls one to Downs with a bobble. And some trouble on the left side of this Red Sox infield the first three innings. One, two. Got him. Lair with his second strikeout of the inning to lead two in the top of the third. Together, uh, from what I understand, if you have the surgery that I had, you literally have to retire. They will mm. not let you play if you've had two discs fused together. So he's a little more fortunate, but it isn't any fun, and that's what kept him from being the player he can be. They're fine with that. That's the way baseball used to be played. Mm. Ask Mike Sosha about whether right. or not he had any problems trying to run him over at the plate. Jaron Duran pulls one into right field, and Marco Hernandez goes first to third. So back-to-back one-out singles for the Red Sox here in the home half of the third inning. Pitchers are going to throw more. Players are going to play more. On the ground to second. Holzwasser gets one. Back to first for two. Four, six, three, and Hernandez left at third to end the third. Another low arm slot, Trevor Hildenberger, the 29-year-old, who has spent each of the last few seasons getting time with the Twins. We, didn't have that. we had the extra time off now, so let's go back to business as usual. And a strikeout for Hildenberger against Dupree. And also, you know, this is a guy that worked in a very frugal organization. You know, this organization's pulling back a little bit financially for this season because of the tax reasons. This one is pulled to left and down for a hit up along the warning track. Corey DeLoretto thought about going to second. He will stop with a one-out single. Doesn't wish that Mookie Betts was still playing on this team, but sometimes you have to make some moves so that you can continue to be a good team moving forward over the next decade. Hildenberger bookends his fourth inning with a couple of Ks, and we're scoreless through three and a half. The Red Sox drafted in the summer in the 11th round. He's a weekend starter, so one of the top three starting pitchers for Northeastern as Longy walks, but we will not see him today. He's got a pitch for Mike Glavin this weekend. 2-2. Two -two. It's Baldwin. Andreoli has been battling here against Gigliotti and a chopper towards short for Smith to flip to Holzwasser to get two. That's back to back innings where the Red Sox have bounced into an inning ending double play and we're through four at JetBlue Park and the new arm comes on for the Red Sox who keep it moving with Denny Reyes a guy who spent the season for the most part at the double A level let me look right well that's the great advantage that I have in this game. De La Guerra at third, and two quick outs for Reyes. Lined over Fitzgerald into right field. Very nice at bat, worked by the senior from Brockton, Kyle Peterson. Pitch number 32 of the inning. Got him. A punch out for Reyes leaves a man at first. And we are through four and a half scoreless in a seven inning game. Nick Davis is the sophomore from Pasadena, California. Guy who hasn't pitched at all in college in his first year plus. You've got a handful of changes for the Huskies. Ooh, Swing nice. and a miss. Off speed to get De La Guerra for the first out in the fifth. Pulled to right field. Struck well, but Danny Crossan just into the game has out number two. And Adam Lau, one of the guys who came over from minor league camp for this one, he takes the mound, spent some time in both Double A Portland and Triple A Pawtucket last year. Full count on Rosen and a leadoff walk. What were your spring training experiences like, and how's it different Job from today? All year long, too. 2-2. Two -two. And a strikeout for Lau. One thing that I'd like to see as far as the coaches are concerned, a lot of conversations between those two guys, and those three guys, really, this whole spring. Runner on the move, and the throw is a dart. 
Tanabam at second as Rosen is set down. Nice job by Baldwin pouncing on it behind the dish. Yeah, that was excellent footwork by Baldwin. Uh, you get a look at Rick Baroni, a senior from New York, who steps onto the mound for this bottom of the sixth inning. He, of course, came over for Blake Swihart last year. And a walk for Wilson to get a man aboard in the sixth. He is off. Pitch is outside. The throw is not in time. Wilson into scoring position here in the sixth inning. It wasn't a bad pitch to throw either, so a ball away from him. And Baroni comes back and strikes out Akami for the first out here in the sixth. The, the name that kept coming up this morning was Jose Parasa out of the mouth of Ron Renneke. Fitzgerald in a right center field, a base hit. Wilson scores from second, and the Red Sox lead. Outside and they're loaded. So Steve Lyons, we have seen some offense from the Red Sox. Some of the guys who came over from minor league camp after 2-1. Whitty on the ground into center field base hit. Fitzgerald scores. Baldwin right behind him. And it's a two-run single for Jansen Whitty to add two more for the Red Sox. Pretty good athlete. Hit hard to center. Dupree backs up and ends the inning. So the Red Sox get three. They leave two, and we go to the seventh in a seven-inning game right after this. And the seventh Red Sox pitcher now is Eduard Bazardo, 24-year-old from Venezuela. 2-2. Two -two. Off speed, got him. Beautiful curve. Cape Cod native. Rolls one towards short for Arauz. Two down. Wilson picked something up with the delivery. He tried it a couple times, finally got a pitch to run on. And then it's a nice piece of hitting right there by Fitzgerald. The guy trying to make an impression, dumps it into right field, and you get a run on the board. And then a tough pick, and Araz makes the play to wrap things up in a Red Sox win in the exhibition. 3-0 the final over Northeastern. We'll wrap it up when we come back to JetBlue Park.